Yo, what's up guys? Josh here from Purdy and Fit, where we help people optimize their time spent on fitness. So given that I'm a short guy, I'm actually five, six and a half. And um, on my dating profiles, such as Hinge, I put five, eight, which is technically not a lie since if I wear shoes, you know, I am five, eight. <laughs> but anyways, a common problem I've noticed with guys of shorter statures is that usually their physique is not optimized. So what I mean by this is on the one hand, you have a lot of guys who are short and really skinny and more nerdy looking. And for those people, typically they're like, you know, pretty good at video games, but in terms of hitting the gym, they don't really you know do that yet nope. it's kind of a waste since i actually think there's a lot of overlap between the gym and video games for example last year during covid i was playing a lot of old school runescape and um to be honest like one of the highlights of the year for me was getting 99 range on one of my accounts like a pure i was building Not to go too much in the details, that basically just sums up like how shitty of a year 2020 was for me. But um, essentially lifting in video games is very similar since both of them require a lot of consistency, a lot of dedication and discipline, and there's like progressive overload in some sense. For example, in video games, you level up, whereas in real life with lifting, you also like level up in a sense where you're lifting more weight or progressing in some way or another. So basically a lot of guys are like really skinny. So like if they're skinny, they gotta like start working out. But on the other hand, you also get a lot of people I've noticed that I don't know if they don't understand what like a healthy B my body fat percentage ranges or they just like don't give a sh but you got a lot of people on the other end who are just like super fat like kind of power lifter looking guys or even people who like juice and you know aren't natty and they just look like super stocky and like walking around like refrigerators that's just like not aesthetic nope. it's weird because like the purpose of lifting weights for a lot of people is to look better but then once you go off like that extreme end where all you care about is like how big your muscles are or, like how much you can lift in the gym and you don't really care about your looks anymore like what's the purpose because then unless you're like an elite level power lifter or generally don't give a shit how you look like i feel like that's just defeating the point so basically i want to make a video covering like some tips and tricks on how to really optimize your physique as a manlet so like for those of you guys who don't know what a manlet is it's essentially like someone who's like 5 8 or under so technically i'm a manlet but luckily you know on the bright side bodybuilding and lifting weights is essentially a sport built for manlets in my opinion at least one where manlets have a huge edge and the reason i say this is because for people like me who are shorter it's much easier to get bigger quicker in terms of like relatively since at the end of the day bodybuilding is all illusion right for example i'm currently 156 right now but i guarantee if i do a side-by-side -side comparison with most guys who are heavier than me i probably look better not to toot my own horn i'm just trying to get the point across that like it's not about the absolute weight it's more about the relative weight and basically like how your proportions are formed basically being short's a double-edged sword because on the one end, you know, less surface area, easy to build muscle, right? On the other end, easy to build muscle, easy to get out of proportion. The purpose of this video is to essentially give you like three tips on how to optimize your physique as a manlet. So this is one dedicated for the shorter guys out there because I want like my fellow short guys to really maximize their aesthetics so that they can just do better in social situations, dating, and just overall be more confident. So yeah, that's the purpose of this video. So before getting into the video, I've actually been working really hard on a course that covers how to get shredded while eating fast food. So as someone who travels weekly for my job especially before covid it was really hard for me to eat out consistently and stay in shape but i realized that fast food is actually a great tool to leverage since a lot of the nutrition information is online it's very consistent and super easy to track so basically that's why i'm working on a course to help you guys get shredded while eating fast food and the foods you love so if you're interested make sure to go down in the video description and click on the link from there you can reserve a spot and then once i release the course i'll give it out for free so make sure to check that out but without further ado let's hop into the video Okay, so tip number one is to build out your V taper. So what I mean by the V taper is essentially the V taper is like, if you think of like a Dorito, right? Or like a nacho chip, it's like a triangle, like an upside down triangle. So that's kind of how you want to envision your body. The delts are like the two corners at the top. And then as you angle downwards, it like goes to the waist. So it's essentially your delt to waist ratio. And as a shorter guy, it's very important to have this developed because typically shorter guys have shorter torsos. So it's really important that your torso is like very well proportioned. Cause then like once you have your shirt off or whatever, or even in a t-shirt with that ratio of like that really good V taper, you actually appear taller and also you appear more aesthetic. It's like a win-win in the sense that you can help increase the illusion and give off the the sense that you look taller and then also like your physique is gonna look better because there's something called the golden ratio I actually covered it in a different topic but essentially what the golden ratio goes over is like based off of like science and mathematics it talks about what are the ideal ratios for each of your body parts and the V taper is like an imperative part of that golden ratio so from my personal experience just this past year focusing on my side delts over my bulk in the winter I have noticed now that I'm like getting more shredded and cut for my competitions like the physique's looking 10 times better I think it's something that doesn't really get covered too much because oftentimes people are just focused on getting like big 
arms or a six pack abs. But in my opinion, that's almost like short term vision in the sense that like you're just kind of focusing on the body part, but you got to think of the body and your physique as a machine that consists of multiple parts instead of just the parts itself. So once you understand that the V taper is important, you can then assess your physique and like figure out what you need to bring up. For example, if you have already good delts, but you just have like a really thick waist, so you're kind of heavier, then you probably just need to like, you know, hit a cut and lose some weight. And then once your waist is thinner, you'll have that V taper naturally. Or for me, like I didn't really have developed side delts. So I had to really work on that during like a bulk or off season and then bring that up. So that basically concludes tip number one, which is build out your V taper. Not only will it make you look more aesthetic, but also make you look taller. And you'll probably do better in the dating department too. Okay, so tip number two is to stay lean. So what I mean by this is if you're a shorter guy, and this mainly applies to people who are already like pretty big or like have a decent amount of muscle, you wanna try to stay on the leaner side because you really have like less room for error as a manlet in terms of how much like body fat you can get without looking like too stocky and like start like growing sideways. As a short guy, the last thing you wanna do is appear like wider than you are tall. Like to be honest, like it's better just to like not lift and look skinny than look wider than you are tall for practical purposes. So I would definitely recommend just trying to stay lean. I can speak from my personal experience i remember like when i first started working consulting i gained like 30 pounds in a month and a half or two months or something and i got really bad acne like super severe i was like honestly pretty depressed i was living in chicago at the time i'll pop up some pictures up here but literally i was going on so many first dates and like absolutely zero second dates essentially just catfishing girls is my dating profile and having that like negative feedback of like going on first dates no second dates and just like honestly like at that point i was so ashamed to like step outside and like wake up in the morning it was like kind of dark time maybe i'll cover it in some other video so this is gonna sound like really superficial but what really saved me and like really restored my confidence was getting lean that's actually the whole reason i signed up and got involved in natural bodybuilding was because i went from like 160 pounds 185 pounds like really quickly got really bad acne and just no dating results like i just mentioned so i knew i needed to make a change and a drastic shift in my life so i signed up for a natural bodybuilding show in 2019 and then once i got lean and uh, lost the body fat my acne just naturally kind of went away when my diet cleaned up and i was just like feeling much happier and was much more confident in my skin and ironically like i I started getting better performance reviews at work. To be honest, in Chicago, I was on the verge of getting fired. In my opinion, like I had such a bad review from my boss. Like it was so bad. And like looking at this, you know, I'd probably give myself a bad review. Yeah, basically like being lean is absolutely paramount. Another thing with being lean is like, it helps you have an aesthetic jawline. So I think one of the best things you can have is like an aesthetic jawline, especially for dating. It just makes you look more attractive. Like if you have two people, exact same person, all other variables are equal. And one person has the aesthetic jawline and the other doesn't. Aesthetic jawline guy is gonna win every single time unless like the girl for some reason has like a different taste you know and is like more into like chubby people then uh <laughs> in that scenario it probably wouldn't work so basically being lean will give you an aesthetic jawline you'll probably have clear skin and like as a short person being lean makes you look bigger since like i said bodybuilding's illusion i look so much bigger at like 150 than i do at 180 it's absolutely absurd whenever i ask my friends like how much they think i weigh they always add 20 pounds to whatever my actual weight is when i'm lean but yeah from my experience losing weight and being lean has had a really positive impact on my life and you know as someone that's kind of been on both ends of the spectrum i understand that like it's not as sustainable to be lean so like the one caveat i will mention is try to get lean and maintain a level of body fat that you're comfortable with and it's sustainable because if you try to get too lean and maintain it you can also like bounce back and like develop you know like an eating disorder or like bounce back and get fat that's literally what happened the first time i dieted for my bodybuilding show i literally gained almost 15 pounds in two days after the show i would say that was more of a product of crash dieting but yeah that's just the one caveat get lean but not to a point where it's a detriment to your health and unsustainable so i would say like find that happy median but that essentially sums up tip number two which is stay lean Tip number three is stay natty. So what I mean by this is as a short guy, you really just don't need to take special subs. Like I mentioned already in this video, it's easy to get size. Getting size is not the problem for short people. The problem with short people, once they put on the size, is getting aesthetic proportions and staying lean. So to be honest, like special subs matter more like in terms of building an amount of muscle that's just not natural. However, the benefit of cutting supplements versus like supplements to build muscle is just pretty minimal in my opinion. I don't know too much about the special sub side, but I just know that like, for example, I know my coach, Brett Freeman, aka bathtub he's natty you know like he doesn't take special subs and he gets like one of the leanest physiques both in the natty and non-natty world so if he's able to do that natty like that kind of shows you that you really don't need roids to get that peeled so i would say like try to just avoid taking special subs so basically a lot of people their one reservation with lifting like especially lifting heavier weights and this especially applies to girls you hear this all the time if you ask a girl like oh why don't you lift weights or why don't you lift heavy they might just like give this response but essentially people are scared of getting too big but what they don't understand is if you do it naturally like you really just can't get too big 
big unless you're like a genetic outlier that is able to build muscle really easily then maybe you can get too big in that case but even for me i've been training and lifting weights for almost eight years and i don't really think i'm too big i don't know you know like being too big is like relative but like in my opinion i don't think you can get too big naturally so you know yes theoretically you could turn to the dark side and maybe take like a low dosage of something or like something such as sarms or pro hormones and you could probably not get that like mass monster look that is kind of like weird in normal society <laughs> but uh the problem is you're just gonna have to keep taking that or like if you hop off of that stuff then your physique's gonna go back to normal so it's just like an unnecessary variable to add in the mix in my opinion that's like honestly why i stay natty and also i don't see any point for me to take special subs so that's kind of why i preach the natural side of bodybuilding because i think it's better for longevity purposes you got people like jeff alberts who's been lifting for like dude he's been lifting for like longer than i've been alive and he looks great even like alberto Minias, those three dmj guys you know they're pretty much lifers in the sport and i feel like when you start taking special subs you know you run into health complications it's just like a whole different ordeal that i don't even want to like experience so that's kind of why i preach that and why i think for like fellow manlets and short kings you know you got to make sure to try to just stay natty if you can not to mention like aging and hair loss side effects i don't know it's just like not really worth it in my opinion but yeah coming back from this tangent that's basically tip number three which is stay natty so in conclusion, what I basically covered in this video is three tips on how to optimize your physique as a manlet. So what's a manlet? A manlet is someone that's like 5'8 and under or just anyone that's like shorter. I'm technically a manlet even with shoes. Like I said, you know, 5'6 and a half without shoes, 5'8 on a good day with shoes. Still a manlet either way. But from my experience, if you implement the tips that I suggest in this video, you can look more aesthetic than taller guys. So basically to recap, the tips that I covered were tip number one, build out your V taper. Tip number two, stay lean. And tip number three, don't take special subs and stay natty. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Hopefully, you know, you guys find some value in this, especially for my fellow short guys out there. I know there's a lot of resources out there, but I feel like no one really covers the aesthetics part as much, especially catered towards short guys. And I know for me, when I was first starting out lifting, I would have loved a resource like this to just tell me like, you know, what should be the long-term plan? Because like, if you don't start with the long-term plan in mind, it's kind of hard to like get there efficiently. Like it took me like, you know, like six or seven years to figure this out for my myself and it could have been much more streamlined you know had i had resources such as this video so yeah if you have any comments or questions you know make sure to post them below in the comment section and so yeah if you enjoyed this type of content please make sure to subscribe and if you subscribe make sure to turn on the notification bell to be notified every time i make a new video so like yeah basically my videos cover how to optimize your time spent on fitness dating career just basically uh how to improve your dating market value essentially so yeah don't forget to like this video but with that i'm gonna wrap this video up and i'll see you guys in the next one.